Hi, everyone. Welcome to UNR Poli-Sci in Exile. I'm Dr. Ian Hartstorn. I'm joined, as always, by Dr. Nick Seltzer. Dr. Seltzer, how are you? I'm doing good. Good to see you, good. Dr. Hartstorn. Good. Good to see you too. And we have a very special guest today. We're going to be joined by uh, Dr. Amber Joyner. Uh, Dr. Joyner holds a PhD from UNR, from our department in public policy and public administration, um, and is not only a researcher, but is also a practitioner. Uh, she's a former member of the Nevada legislature, having represented my former district, the fight in 24th, um, and has held many positions in, in governmental affairs, uh, not-for-profit institutions. Uh, she's a lecturer at the university, teaches at the university as well. Uh, Dr. Joyner, it's a pleasure to have you. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. So Dr. Joyner, today we are talking about the legislative internships, which you have stepped up to um, help coordinate. Um, so for the students out there, uh, tell us a little bit about what the legislative internship is. Yes, I'm thrilled to be helping with this program. Um, the legislative internship program really gives students a firsthand experience in the legislature. They are paired with a legislator typically, and um, they have a lot of access to the ins and outs, private meetings that the legislators have. They get to see every aspect of the process. And um, the thing I love about this internship is it's really for everybody. Uh, you don't have to think, oh, I might wanna go into government someday or run for office or work for the government. Uh, there's something there for everyone. So. You know, if you want to go into business or work for a nonprofit, the legislature deals with policy areas of every topic. So, you know, whether you're interested in K-12 education, higher education, energy, um, and the environment, healthcare, there's something there for everybody. So regardless of who you are or what you think you might want to do in the future, I think it's a really fascinating internship. That sounds like a great opportunity. And you have some, some firsthand experience with this, with this internship, too. Uh, tell the students a little bit about that. Yes, that's why I feel so strongly about this program. Um, in 1997, I was in this exact same class in this same internship. And I was paired with Assemblywoman Vivian Freeman and she was chair of the Health and Human Services Committee. And um, she represented Assembly District 24. And um, I would go on to serve in the exact same seat 20 years later, which was crazy. But um, that experience really changed completely the, the course of my interests. Um, I originally was interested in environmental law, thought I would go to law, law school for that. But she um, you know, really showed me how important health policy was and at the time education also. And so it really did change the course of my interests and in my career. And I, I made all kinds of contacts that ended up being very helpful when I went to find a job later. I actually ended up working at the legislature. So um, I've also hosted interns as a legislator. So I've seen all sides of it. And, I just think it's a really, really valuable program. That's great. Uh, I have a question for you, uh, Dr. Joyner. Uh, right now, many families and students are concerned about COVID and are probably weighing these against the many potential benefits to participating in an internship. What does an internship look like right now? That's a really good question. Um, there's good and bad news about that. We aren't sure yet. <laughs> So what I would say is if students are interested, uh, we're, I'm committed to having a, a very valuable legislative experience of some sort. It may end up that we aren't even allowed to be in the building. So what happened this last um, summer is that the legislature, they had two interim sessions and um, I'm sorry, it's two special sessions and they didn't allow anybody in the building. That could happen, right? But we could still have it in other ways. We're brainstorming right now how to still do, you know, some sort of policy academy where students are checking in, um, tracking bills, uh, providing testimony, doing different things that it will still be a very valuable experience. And typically, um, the students would be down at the legislature. It very, it's very flexible, so it works around their school schedules. They might go down one day a week and do a ton of hours. <laughs> um, more typically, they would go down two days a week. So if you can schedule your classes to be, you know, only Tuesdays and Thursdays, then you have the other days you could go down to Carson City. So it's flexible in that way and that we try to work around students' schedules. We also try to pair you with a legislator who shares your political interests and your policy interests. Um, so we aren't quite sure what it'll look like this time, but I have talked to them and um, we have some really nice people there committed to helping us find, you know, valuable experiences for students, even if we're doing it virtually. Well, that sounds fantastic. I myself uh, participated in a couple internships uh, in my earlier days. I was in a, uh, I, I uh, uh, interned at the California State Legislature and also for a, uh, a, uh, a piece of the Department of Defense and a Washington DC type internship. And I can, it was, it was extraordinarily valuable. I, I yeah. would highly recommend it. 
these can be remarkable experiences. And I think Dr. Joyner is, is really good evidence of that, how, how profound of an impact um, an internship like this can have on, on your career. So Dr. Joyner, if students are interested in, in learning more, if they're interested in applying for this opportunity, um, what do they need to do? Well, the, the application is now online. The deadline is October 29th. So you just go to the political science webpage, go to internships, scroll down a little ways. There's an internships link and there's a specific form for this one. You would just fill it out. We need one recommendation and one letter of recommendation. Um, and then there will be an interview process where we'll um, get to know you and that way we can help pair you with a legislator appropriately. Um, and then I would say, uh, um, other than that, um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me directly. I'm at ajoiner at unr.edu, A-J-O-I-N-E-R. And I would love to talk to you about any questions you have or um, really anything. That's great. So students, if you're interested in this, uh, check out the UNR PoliSci website. All of the information is available there. We'll also be putting it out on social media. Um, so stay uh, up to date through all of those sources. Dr. Joyner, thank you so much for joining us today and telling us a little bit more about the, the legislative internship. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Thank take you, care, uh, Dr. Seltzer, as well. Thank you so much. And everybody, take care. And we'll see you next time at UNR PoliSci in Exile.